Hello there, and my name is Yelita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin Care, and today I wanted to talk about the aging and skin health. And you know, I'm 32 now, and I definitely try to not let my skin age too fast. In general, I don't want to age too. But number one thing you can do is healthy lifestyle, eating healthy, hydrating, staying active, not smoking, not drinking, not using drugs, it's going to be number one thing. Every time if I do on occasion have a drink, I'll be thinking, oh no, it's aging me. Because it is, you know, anything dehydrating, uh, anything that's killing your cells is infecting, affecting your skin health. Skin health and skin is our largest organ of the body. So if you do ever have a drink, make sure you have water with it. Um, and, you know, I don't recommend drinking every day. If you can avoid that, it will be great for your skin. The other thing is wearing sunscreen. It's important to always wear sunscreen, even in wintertime and summertime. Like right now, we have a nice sun here. Uh, mineral sunscreen is usually the best, but 90% of aging is caused by sun exposure, UV, UVB rays. So we always want to make sure in the morning, if you can get that into your skincare routine, it's going to be wonderful for your skin. The other uh, thing is using retinol it can be great anti-aging product vitamin a in other words is retinol you can start once a week couple times a week but if you're 20s late 20s 30s you can start using that and it it can it's going to stay with you up until your grave you know i, I know it's going to probably stay with me until my grave because it it kind of makes the pores look smaller smooth as uh, any scarring it's also um, if you have acne issues, it's going to help with that. So I really like retinol products for anti-aging. Uh, some people use like Botox or whatnot. I have not tried it. I know friends who use it who are in their 40s, 50s. So I can't really attest to that. Um, but I'm kind of going to cover here more like a natural ways of aging. If you don't like needles like I don't like. So, you know. The best is always is prevention, you know, surgeries and all those things. That's, I feel like, last, last resort. But if it does make, will make you feel better, you feel like it, then go for it. Uh, but I feel like the three things, lifestyle and wearing sunscreen and retinol, it's going to be great. The other point I would like to add, wearing good quality makeup that doesn't clog your pores, that doesn't... You know, suffocate your skin. Um, mineral makeup base is usually good, or just another high quality makeup that you trust and that you feel it doesn't make your skin worse, doesn't clog your pores, non comedogenic. And um, always, always, always remove any sort of makeup, double cleanse before you go to sleep because at nighttime our skin regenerates, so it's very important. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can leave any questions, comments down below. I'm on Instagram at Yolita Brilliant and my website is YolitaBrilliant.com. And thank you for watching. If you do enjoy this video, I would appreciate thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Have a brilliant day. Bye.